Hello and welcome to a brand new Carfection Long Termer. Now, the last time you saw me and Charlie, we were saying goodbye to our previous Long Termer, the Honda Civic Type R. But today we're saying hello to our brand new one. Volvo XC60. You spec'd it yourself, didn't you? Well, yes, well, Volvo did let us spec certain things. We weren't sure they were going to accept everything, like this fluffy head cushion. But only one, apparently. Only one? I don't, I don't one. know where the other one's gone. But yeah, this is quite a high spec one. I think it came in at £59,000. But this one specifically is the T6 model, which comes with a 310 horsepower four-cylinder engine, which is turbocharged and supercharged. It's pretty fast, actually. It's not actually that much slower 0 to 60 than the Civic Type R, is it? No, it's 5.9 to 62. So, what does £59,810 buy you? Quite a lot, actually. We've got the 360 degree camera, we've got front heated seat, heated steering wheel. I think we've all agreed that the heated steering wheel is one of the hottest nuclear, really. on earth. The Bowers and Wilkins stereo system, two and a half grand. Two and a half grand. Uh, we've got the Xenium pack, which includes our nice panoramic roof which is actually really handy when we're filming sometimes because we've got a camera stuck on there at the moment which is rattling a bit you might be able to hear it uh, but also we can film out the roof sometimes or stick stuff onto the roof we've got a 360 degree camera and it will park itself using that as well have you got that to work so I, I tried on a gravel car park but i think it needs the line i used it outside my flat and it's useful for a tight space but it just leaves you a bit too far away from the curb should be worth adding one of the coolest features is the cooled glove box. Oh, who could forget the cooled glove box? Then we have the IntelliSafe Pro Pack, which includes the autopilot, well, they call it IntelliSafe Assist. And didn't you use that all the way from Derbyshire when you came? Yeah, it's 100 miles straight up the M1 from London. And I had, uh, I had that on and it was really good actually. It was at night time and it was really bad weather, so pouring rain, but it was fine. And the adaptive cruise control all worked really nicely, so. That's good. Made it quite a nice journey. The MPG was pretty good, I thought. 30 MPG on the run, really comfy. Dog back at home, used the dog guards. Did you spec that? I or? have a feeling we spec'd it for some reason. I think I might have said it was quite like nice because we, we quite often fill the boot with gear and you don't want stuff flying forward. Yeah. It just holds stuff in a bit, a bit better. So we also have the convenience pack, which includes the keyless entry. Um, and actually the main thing that's cool for me about this is having the actual plug in the back, like a proper plug socket, three pin plug socket, because we can charge our laptops and yeah. edit in the back while we go, you don't need an inverter or anything. And then finally, we've got retractable tow bar, which we've got a little clip of which for some reason is always quite funny seeing one of those in action. <laughs> See, you press the button and it takes ages and then it sort of just drops down. It's the same on the disco. <laughs> but the reason we spec that isn't actually for towing, is actually we found it a great mounting point for to secure cameras as part of a bigger rig. So a couple suction mounts and then you can clamp on there and it's just a much more secure way of doing filming on the back. I think the nice thing about Volvos is they they are very luxurious, but they don't shout about it too much. And yeah. They always look quite understated. I've always been a Volvo fan because it's what my parents had when they grew up. We always had the estates yeah. like the V70. Um, and actually, I would say my mum is probably the most excited person about this, <laughs> this new <laughs> long term than anyone in our in Carfection. But um, I'm really looking forward to using it. And oh, yeah, the air suspension also like makes our job so much easier when filming out the back. Yeah, absolutely. We like, were filming so smooth. Yeah, at Silverstone the other day and it was just, it was like silk, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, one thing I do like is if you've got people sitting in the back, and I think most Volvos have this now, is you can just, if they're having a snooze. Whoa, that's violent. Yeah, just hitting them on the head with the headrests. But you can't then put them back up. Well, that's their job, isn't it? Well, there you go, we've got this for, three months. Yeah, and if there's anything you guys want to know, leave it in the comments and we'll try to include it in the next video. 
we'll try to do a proper full review at some point on this. If you don't already, head over to Instagram, follow us at Carfection Films because we will probably do a Q&A at some point in case there's any questions you have about it. And um, yeah, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Oh, <laughs> no!